Oh, hi, I'm Andre, the Solution Engineer at PDFtron. Now, in this video, I wanted to help you get started with PDFtron Node.js SDK. And I'll create a series of videos that are actually going to concentrate on building a real life application. So we're going to build an express server uh, running on Node.js that's going to uh, generate invoices, uh, convert Office uh, to PDF, uh, generate thumbnails, um, and any other capability uh, that you guys might think of. I really rely on you to suggest uh, cool ideas for the next video or more something you want to explore. Uh, so please, you know, go ahead and post the comments below uh, as well as subscribe to stay tuned and up to date with all the videos coming out. Okay, let's jump in. So in this video, what we'll cover is creating our express app and installing all the necessary dependencies and as well as kind of creating a project structure that later we're going to use and expand on. At first, it's going to be very basic. So if you don't have any prior knowledge of Node.js Express, I'm going to try my best to kind of explain and walk you through, as well as familiarize you with the PDFtron library. So first things first, go ahead and create an empty folder. Um, in my case, I called it Express App. And then go ahead and open it inside a Visual Studio uh, Code Editor. Excellent, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and open up the terminal. Sweet, terminal is now open. Um, so here, the first command that I'm gonna run is npm init. That will go ahead and create and initialize a new project. Uh, so the package name express app, version one looks good. So we'll just call it express node.js convert server. Entry point is gonna be index.js. Uh, we're going to skip the test command or the git, uh, skip the commands, author is going to be me, Andre, and yeah, looks good to me, perfect. So that went ahead and created package.json uh, inside of here. So let's go ahead and add a couple other packages that we'll need for this project. Specifically, uh, we're going to need express. So I'm going to say npm i express. And I know that we'll need the PDFtron dependencies later on for this um, kind of set of videos. So I'm just going to install them now. Okay, awesome. So now we installed PDFtron node. Uh, at the moment of recording, we have the version 8 and we installed the Express. Uh, so in here, let's go ahead and create a new file. And we're going to call it index.js uh, since this is our entry point. And then inside of here, let's actually Go ahead and import express by saying require express. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and create our app. Um, this, and then uh, to kind of get our server up and running, uh, we just need to call command listen, provided the port number and the callback function uh, when the app is operational and up and running. And inside of here, we can actually go ahead and console log that our app is running. Okay, so let's see if uh, this works. Now to test this out and um, to kind of get it working, you can just say node index.js. And as you can see, app is running. And right now we can actually uh, go and see uh, what's running on localhost uh, 3000. Okay, so uh, let's see. If we go to localhost 4000, as you can see that um, it's actually listening and we cannot get the blank. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, fix that. Now to make our job easier so we don't have to keep restarting our server, what we can do is uh, add a script that will allow us uh, to just run npm start and it will execute node.index.js. And to make it even more easier, we can set up a popular uh, package that's been used called nodeman. And what nodeman will allow us to do is listen uh, for any of the changes in the code and then uh, restart our server automatically. So let's go ahead and do that. So I can do npm i buildman. Awesome. And then in our package.json, uh, as you can see, it added an additional dependencies. 
we can say, oh, uh, we can go ahead and add start script. And inside of it, we'll say nodeman index.js. Okay. And let's actually do that. And we can run npm start. Okay, great. And as you can see, nodeman now is listening. Uh, so anytime we make the changes, uh, the app is actually going to restart. So for example, let's change our console log uh, just a bit. And as you can see, it's restarted. Okay, great. I think this is enough for the first video. In the second video, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some of the endpoints and then actually start adding some of the functionality. So the first endpoint that we're going to build out is invoice generation uh, with PDF. So go ahead, hit subscribe button to stay tuned and up to date uh, with this course content as it comes up. Thanks for watching.